find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region enclosed by x equals 0, y equals 1, and x equals y to the 11th. And we're going to rotate it about the line y equals 1. So here is a rough sketch of what we're looking at. X equals zero is this line right here. Y equals one would be this. And X equals Y to the 11th would look something like this. Whoops, one. All right, now if we look at the area that's enclosed, that would be this area right here. And imagine that we spin it around y equals one. So if we spin it, around y equals one, we're gonna get something that looks like this. That doesn't look very good. Hopefully you can picture it. So if we look at it without all the mass, it might look something, whoops, like this. And then it spins around this way, and this is where the line y equals 1 is at. All right, so if we make a cross section, so imagine I split it like this. Right down here, I slice it. Our cross section is going to be a disk. And remember, the line y equals one is gonna come through the center here. So my radius is going to be from here out, which would be one minus, and then this part of the function right here, which is y to the 11th. But since we're rotating this around the line y equals one, which is in the same I guess you can say the same direction just shifted up as the x-axis, we're going to look at this in terms of x. So I'm going to rewrite this as y equals the 11th root of x. So my radius for this disk is going to be whatever um, the function is at that point, and we're going to subtract it from 1, so from here to here. So my radius will be one minus the 11th root of x. So when we integrate this, we need to know what our limits are. Since we're doing this in terms of x, it's gonna go from here to here. So we know that this point is zero. This point would have to be one because it's where these two intersect. So where y equals one intersects, y equals the 11th root of x. So this point right here has to be the point one, one. So we're gonna integrate this with a lower limit of zero and an upper limit of one. Whoops, I meant this to be zero, zero. Silly me, this right here is zero, zero. All right, so when we integrate this, it's gonna look like this, zero to one. And we're doing the disk method, so we're gonna do the area of the circle of all those slices. So the area of a disk is pi r squared. We identify the radius as one minus the 11th root of x, so this is our radius, 1 minus the 11th root of x squared dx. This is our radius. Okay, so 
At this point in the course, I feel pretty comfortable that you'll be able to integrate that by yourself. Um, when you do that, check to make sure you get the right answer, but when you do that, you should get point zero four zero two seven uh six eight two nine let's just round it there it goes on quite a bit um so the idea behind rotating it around something that is not the x or y axis you just want to think of it as a shift so if you're rotating it, for example, around the line x equals 1, where the line is vertical, you're doing something similar when you rotate as around the y-axis, you're just shifting it over. So you just have to make sure when you identify what your radius is that you're taking that into consideration.